Hi, this is Ann with a quick anagram on getting started on Replit. Uh, Replit's pretty simple. Uh, in some ways, you'll find it more uh, somewhat annoyingly simple sometimes now that we've switched to it. Um, but because we are doing this midstream, I want to just make sure I get everyone up to speed as quickly as possible. So I'm going to just walk through these three slides um, of forking the starting code. Fork is a programmer's word for copy. Uh, renaming the copy, adding a file, adding a folder, and uploading files. Um, I'll be doing probably a second anagram um, today on working inside Replit, but this is just on getting started. So um, that's your overview here. We're going to go ahead and click on this to get Replit started. Okay. And um, I'm going to move this set of slides off screen so that I can follow along with the instructions. So um, if all went well, I am, um, I am in, I'm looking at the starting code that's published by me, but I am, I should be inside the um, student account I have for my cat, Winston. So Winston Raff, is the account I'm in. This will be your name down here, but we're looking at my code. So the first thing we need to do is fork it, which simply means copy. So I click on this fork button and I'm gonna double click this, I'm gonna click this hamburger menu to make it go away. Okay, so now I have a REPL that says starting code um, but it belongs to the account name that, that I was logged in. So be sure when you start this process that before you click on that link in the slide, you are logged into Replit under your own name with your own account so that you are not in an anonymous account. You can certainly work with code in an anonymous account, but what you need to do is make sure that this copy belongs to your student account. So um, we want the instructions say to edit this and to change the name of the replit to reflect your name. That's gonna help me when I grade. Um, so this is the metadata for this um, replit. So let me spell Winston's name right. Okay. So just in case I did that fast, this is the edit pencil. If you click it, this little dialog comes up and you can change this meta information. And when you're done, just click off, okay? Now, to add a file, for example, there is no review.md file in this set of um, starting code. So the first thing you need to do is add one and um, click this button, which when you hover over it says add file, but you have to know to hover over it to see that. Uh, and simply type the name of your file, okay? Um, and you have an empty file here, which is fine. Uh, if by any chance you were in this folder, like you had been looking around before you did this step, and review.md got created inside the wrong folder. Note that you can simply drag and drop out to the folder location where you want to be. So I should be able to just drag this out of the Flexbox layout folder and have it show up at the um, root of this particular project. So to open up a folder, you click on the little arrow next to it. If we want to see the images that go with the layout project, they're all right there. Okay. And the other thing I want you to do is create a new folder. So again, make sure you're at the root. For example, have your index.html file open when you go to add a folder and you want to add that folder by clicking that button. And the folder's name is Flexbox mock up. Okay. Now you have this folder, but unlike the layout, which had files in it to start with, there are no files there. And um, it's empty. So 
in your tasks zero, I think was the number, you will have downloaded a slightly modified version of these same files. So um, I have my astromech for mockups. You're going to be using the same file set, I think, for two weeks. And I'm, um, I'm on Windows. I'm going to highlight all of those. And this is a nice interface where you can simply drag this onto the folder. So there I have taken the files from my hard drive, my local hard drive, where I unzipped them to, and simply drag and drop them into my REPL. And that's how you get started. Um, that takes you through task number one.